Welcome back to the FC24 Early Access coverage. Today we are taking a look at manager career. I'm going to be exploring manager career and taking a look at the new features, giving you my impressions as we go along. Should be a good video. Let's see what EA is cooking this year for manager career mode. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like for me and make sure you subscribe to get more FC24 content. All right, so let's get started. We've got create new manager or players real manager. Let's take a look at some of the real managers. So it looks like we've got a problem already. Eric Ten Hag has a generic face. Look at this. EA, come on. Ridiculous stuff. Let's see if postacoglu has got one. No, nope, no face for him as well. So yeah, there's a few obviously with the real face, but there's still a few generic managers. And uh, obviously, if you go outside of England, the selection is much more limited. I think Allegri's got a new face this year. I think that's the only manager that they advertised as a new face. I could be wrong. There could be more. Now, there's some new customization items for managers in the game. So obviously, you've got your shirts and all that. But this year, they've added in hoodies. So if we go here to the outer tops, you can see hoodies. There you go. Light blue hoodie, gray hoodie and red hoodie. I think there's a club hoodie as well. So you've got the logo on the hoodie. I don't mind that one. Looks pretty cool. They also advertised new tracksuit pants. There's also eyewear this year. So you can put glasses on your created manager. So there you go. There's a few options there. One thing we're going to look at is these kit sponsors that are apparently in Creator Club. I want to see exactly what EA has done. I don't think it's going to be a big feature because they didn't advertise it as a big feature. So when they said sponsors in Creator Club crew mode, this is what they meant. EA sponsored kits. Really? Out of all the things you could have done with sponsors in career mode, you've put a Frostbite engine logo on a shirt. There's also that as well. How is that sponsored? I don't understand. What's the point of this? Really? What's the point? They could have done so much more with this. Instead, we've got a Hypermotion sponsored kit and a Frostbite engine logo. That is not sponsors in career mode based on my definition of sponsors in career mode. Bring back the old FIFA 08 sponsorship features where you could actually make money, not these generic kits with a Frostbite engine logo on them. Pretty disappointed at the moment. The goalkeeper kits are pretty much the same as well. Those $5 generic Walmart jerseys are still in the game here. Now the first thing that comes up with a career mode save is your tactical vision. You can do it later or you can set it up now. This basically lets you decide how you want your team to play. You can select your vision and hire coaches to help your players to perform at their best in that tactical style. So let's see what that's all about. There's a few to pick from. These are basically for me like presets. So each one is going to affect different things like defensive tactics, style, width, range, build up play, chance creation, and there's much more there as well. Basically, there's uh, things that you can read here and just pick which one you want, you know, the way you want to play with your squad. I'm going to use kick and rush today for Man City just as an example, and you can paint your vision on the pitch so you've got the tactical knowledge. You need to hire coaches that know your preferred vision to instruct your players on how to apply its principles. The coach with the best knowledge in each department will act as its head coach. Boosting the player's output on the pitch. Staff capacity, you have a fixed number of slots. Make the most of them to cover your vision needs across all departments. A good manager rating will convince the board to supplement available slots next season. All the coaches you hire get better over time when the team is applying your Vision, play and win matches while a vision is implemented for your staff to gain XP and ultimately level up their knowledge on that vision. This is another new feature here, the coaches. So pretty much we've got 13 spots and this changes depending on what club you're with. Man City has 13. Each coach is going to have different knowledge levels and different star ratings for different departments and a different salary as well. What you need to do is pick the coaches that have your vision. These guys here at the top have my vision. These ones here do not. So they're not really worth signing. You want to look at the guys that have your vision. So you can see here, each coach has a set of skills that are fueling development. The number of stars a coach has in each department contributes to the growth of all players. Each department requires a certain quality level from its staff. Ideal quality is a fluid value that evolves along with your squad. Each coach's star contributes to the department total. This needs to match the ideal quality in order to generate the best results in player development. Clark has four attacking stars and the rest are not as good, so we're going to leave him there. The tactical vision you set for your club impacts the abilities your players will have on the pitch and knowledge level does boost your players as well and sharpness also gets affected as well by the looks of it so because we hired that coach the player impact is plus two so Jack Grealish goes up a plus two and it all depends on your knowledge level as well for that coach because that guy was on accomplished he's got a plus two boost to shot power finishing and sprint speed as well. If he was an expert, he would have more, but that's locked at the moment. And it only affects the front three because he's an attacking coach. Let's say you want to add a midfield coach now. We can add them in and uh, basically we take a look at our guys here. We've got one expert, so we're going to do that. We put him into the midfield position and that's going to give us a four star rating there. And we can do the defense as well. So you just want to play around with this. Here's a look at the menus, pretty similar to last year. Besides a few extra tiles, maybe here and there. You can see the training plan, which is another new feature this year. The Decide how the focus between building sharpness and regaining energy should be balanced. As you progress through the season, be mindful that your team needs can fluctuate and revisit your plans for best results. The training plans you decide to apply to your team going forward will bear fruit in the coming days and weeks. Planning ahead can be useful, and each plan you select can be applied to an individual player or a group of players or the entire squad. Okay, so if you've got the starting 11 that usually play each week, you might want to keep them on a more balanced or 
energy focused plan to keep their fitness high and their sharpness moderate. If you've got players that don't play in the reserves or the subs, you might want to put them on a more performance focused thing to increase their sharpness and it might take a hit on their fitness but that doesn't really matter. So this year basically you can do them for each player, you can go around the whole team and do it for each player or you can just do one like this and then you can just press the Y button, apply for all players, apply for starting 11 and that will affect just 11 players. Then on the bench you can set a plan here for these guys and apply it for the subs and reserves but uh, yeah you can do individual or just team selection if you want. So let's take a look at our youth staff here because there's one new feature here. We're going to set up a Northern Europe scouting network and you can see one new feature here. It's in the position section. You can now search for a position when you're searching for youth talent. So let's say you want a left wing, you can set that up now and they're going to go and look up some players that play in the left wing position. I think this is new as well. You can see on the right, if there's a transfer window open, you can see how many days until it closes based on the calendar. We've reached the match day here and it's going to be Man City Arsenal for the FA Community Shield and let's go into the match day hub. You can do kickoff, pre-match report which is a new feature, training session, another new feature and the press conference is there as well. So the pre-match report tells you a bit about the opposition. You can see the last five matches, the ratings of the players, their predicted lineup and their tactical vision, their key defensive players, key attacking players as well. You can choose to read this or you don't have to, but if you read it, it gives you a bit more info about the team so you're more prepared going into the game. Now there's another feature here called training session. If you do one of these drills, you can boost a player. Basically it gives them a temporary play style that works during the game. You can see different drills here for all different kinds of uh, departments like shooting, passing, defending and dribbling. There's some drills that affect multiple players here. You basically play the drill, it's like a training session before the game. And uh, if you succeed with the drills like that, you can unlock a temporary play style for all the players listed for this drill, you know. So I guess it's a good feature. I don't know how many people are going to use it after a while, but it probably does help when you actually play the game. This drill was a fail, so you can retry it three times. But if you don't hit the target, you don't get the play styles for the players. You can't select another one if you fail the drill. You just have to keep retrying. Now, let's say you've done all that. You want to go into kickoff now. And here's some more options. So you can play the match, tactical view, there's play highlights, which was a feature from last year, and then there's customize. So you still get your select sides, change kit, game settings, controller settings, lock to player as well. And uh, let's go back here to tactical view. So you can sim the game, you can quick sim as well, or you can click tactical view. They've still got the nice pre-game cutscenes, but they actually got rid of the players walking out, the shaking of the hands, the mascots, and the lineups and all that. I don't know why. I heard it's a bug. Hopefully it comes back, but... Yeah, it's all about making things quicker now, but you miss that presentation element that a few people enjoyed. So we've got the tactical vision feature. This is like spectate mode. So if you want to do career mode like this, you can. You sit behind the manager, so you get to look at Guardiola for 90 minutes. And uh, yeah, basically you see a couple players. It's very hard to actually analyze the game from here because Guardiola blocks half the screen, literally, and the linesman. So there's not much you can see here. But uh, you can change the view, of course. Different camera angles do work here. And you can go around different cameras like that. I guess some people will use it. I don't know how many will, but you do need a spectate mode in these kinds of games because there's always someone that plays the game without playing it, you know? He just wants to do the tactics and uh, not actually control the players with the controller. You can see here the corner kick camera angle, and uh, I think you can rotate the camera with your analog stick as well. You can change targets, I believe. So there you go, left and right bumpers do change the targets. And yeah, you can move the camera yourself as well. So rotate and zoom, and I think someone just scored. So that's how the tactical view works. I think they're all running through the barrier here. Well done, EA. First uh, bug of the year. Look at that. They're all just jumping through the barrier. New match day menus as well for career mode. There's also those Ballon d'Or ceremony cutscenes and all that. You guys saw them in the trailer already. So I'm going to leave it here. That's pretty much manager career mode's new features. Of course, we're going to take a look at player career mode tomorrow. But let me know what you think of manager career mode if you're playing the early access.